Hello friends, welcome again on Pharma Learner series of interview questions and answers. In today's tutorial, I will discuss about minimum batch size required for a NDA. Or, we can say, exhibit batch size requirements for a NDA submission. This is again, one of the frequently asked questions in interviews. Before going ahead, let me tell you that, I am continuously preparing the question and answer series for interview preparation. If you have not subscribed this channel, please subscribe so that, you don't miss any, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, so that you will get the notification of all my new tutorials first. In previous tutorial I have discussed about the, significant changes and, its calculations, if you have not watched this tutorial please watch that one also. I have also provided the link below in description. Now, let's start with, what is minimum batch size required for exhibit batch? FDA guidance defined the batch size requirements for a NDA submission batches for all dosage forms, including solid orals, liquid orals, topical, parenterals and transdermal dosages form. I will discuss one by one with examples and also shared with you some key points to remember on this topic. So please keep watching till last. What FDA guidelines says. According to the FDA stability guidance, the applicant should submit data from three pilot scale batches or from two pilot scale batches and one small scale batch. This applies to all dosage forms. So, here it is clear that we have to submit data from minimum three batches. Now what is meaning of pilot scale batches and one small scale batch? First, I will start with solid orals. So, FDA guidelines says, two of the three batches should be of at least 10% of the proposed production batch or one lakh finished dosage units, whichever is greater. And these batches are now called as pilot scale batches. And the third batch can be smaller than the 10% of the proposed production batch, but should not be less than 25% of the pilot scale batch. Further, FDA also says that a minimum of 1 lakhs units in all proposed presentations is recommended. Also, stability data of all these three batches should be generated in the proposed marketing container. This is about what FDA says. Now, let's understand this with an example. Suppose, if proposed commercial batch size is 2 lakhs, so 10% 2 lakhs is 20,000 units, but guidance says 10% of the proposed production batch or 1 lakh finished dosage units, whichever is greater. So, minimum quantity of 2 pilot batches is 1 lakh each. Now, third batch should be not less than 25% of pilot batch, so 25% of 1 lakh is 25 thousands. But, again, as per guidance minimum quantity is 1 lakh. So in short, for solid orals dosage forms, minimum quantity of all three batches should be 1 lakh units each. Let's take one more example. Now we consider the proposed commercial batch size is 20 lakhs, so 10% of 20 lakh is 2 lakhs units. Here in this case, 2 lakh is greater than 1 lakh, so minimum quantity of two pilot batches is 2 lakh units each. Now we calculate the third batch. So, 25% of 2 lakh is 50 thousands. But again as per guidance, minimum quantity is 1 lakh units for all three batches. So third batch will be of 1 lakhs instead of 50 thousands. So in short, two pilot scale batches will be 2 lakhs units each and third small scale batch will be 1 lakhs units in this case. This is about the batch size requirements for solid orals. Now move on to liquid orals dosage forms. For liquid orals, conditions for exhibit batch size are similar to that of solid orals but, there is no minimum quantity requirements as that of solid orals. Let's see what a guideline says. Here for liquid orals, 2 out of 3 batches should be minimum 10% of proposed commercial batch. And, the third batch should not be less than 25% of pilot batch. Also, to capture variability introduced by packaging, the product from all the batches should be used in the packaging process. So let's consider, if proposed commercial batch size is 5000 liters. So, 10% of 5000 liters is 500 liters. And for liquid orals there are no minimum quantity criteria like solid orals. 
So here in this example minimum quantity of two pilot batches is 500 liters each. Now we calculate for third batch. So, 25% of 500 liters is 125 liters. Now, I will take the next dosage form. This is topical preparation. This includes creams, lotions and gels. So, for topical again. Two out of three batches should be minimum 10% of proposed commercial batch. Or, 100 kilograms. Whichever is greater. Please note that these quantities excludes the losses, in this case it excludes filling or flushing losses. And, the third batch can be smaller than proposed commercial batch but, should not be less than 40% of pilot batch. Let's consider, the proposed commercial batch size is 2000 kilograms. So, 10% of 2000 kilograms is 200 kilograms. Here in this case 200 kilograms is greater than 100 kilograms, so minimum quantity of two pilot batches is 200 kilograms each. Now we calculate the third batch. So, 40% of 200 kilograms is 80 kilograms. So third batch will be 80 kilograms. That is all about the exhibit batch size requirement of ANDA batches. For solid orals, liquid oral and topical dosage forms. Before sharing with you some important key points on this topic, let me tell you that. In my next tutorial I will discuss about the parenterals and transdermal patches, exhibit batch size requirements and its calculations. Thanks for watching this tutorial. We will meet again next week with one more new topic. Please give thumbs up if you like this video and share it with your friends and colleagues. We will be happy if you share your feedback about this tutorial in comment box below. If you still not subscribed this channel, please subscribe it and also hit the bell icon so that you will get the notification on my all tutorials. Now these are some key points which you need to remember about the exhibit batch size requirements.